Hey Dennis Typer, hvad så? Det er jo den... Uh, hvad er det? <laughs> jeg har glemt. Den 31. marts. It's the 31. marts, hvor mine went blank. Og det betyder jo, at i morgen, at det bliver uh, den 1. april. Ah, oh, can't speak today. That means, of course, tomorrow is the 1. of april. Og det er der, hvor vi laver aprilsnare. That's where we do these April Fool's jokes. Og jeg har fundet en interessant og lidt sjov artikel. I found this uh, interesting, a bit fun article on Samvirka. Let's read it together. Sådan laver du en god aprilsnare. This is how you do a good April Fool's joke. En vel udført aprilsnare kræver forberedelse og easy maven. I love this. A well-executed April Fool requires preparation and ice in the stomach. I guess in English we say you know, a cool head. You need to keep your cool. I samarbejde med løgn ekspert og foredragsholder Michael Suber guider samvirker dig til, hvordan du nærer dine venner, kolleger eller familiemedlemmer den 1. april. In collaboration with lie experts, I didn't know there were lie experts, apparently there are, and lecturer Michael Suber, uh, samvirker guides you on how to fool your friends, colleagues or family members on the 1st of April. So then, let us fortsæt det. Der er et sjovt lille billede, billede her. Jeg tror, det skete i København. Nu vi se. Ja, i 2001 bragte Ekstrabladet historien om, at Metro var løbet løbsk under tekst, uh, testkørsel og havde boret sig op gennem belægningen på Rådhuspladsen i København. Ja, yeah, they made out that this uh, Metro had sort of gone wrong, driven badly, uh, gone off the tracks during a test drive. Uh, yeah, this is sjovt ud. Nå, 1. april er dagen, hvor du må, lø- du må lyve om alt, men ikke alle april snarere er lige gode. Derfor har vi samlet en række gode råd til, hvordan du får mest succes med din april snarere. Perfekt. April 1st is the day that you're allowed to lie about everything. But not all April Fools are equally good. That's why we've put together a number of good tips on how to have the most success with your April Fools joke. Perfect. Yes, can you click a little want here for meat? But I think it's getting all on it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, not the ask it not on it. Two seconds. Ah, there was one. I missed the lemon article. But now I have it again. Det er godt. Okay, vi fortsætter. Undgå emner, der vækker stærke følelser. Din intention med at lave en aprilsnare skal være, at du vil have det sjovt sammen med den, du vil nære. Derfor skal aprilsnaren være sjov, også for ham eller hende, du laver sjov med. Okay, so your intention with the April Fool um, needs to be that uh, do a show. you want to have fun with the people that you are fooling um, and therefore the april Fool's joke needs to be fun for him or her that you are making fun of right it's not supposed to be something super mean <laughs> everybody has to sort of think it's funny <laughs> uh ungo at joker mil noel a joker mil noel that can vega stack fusa eller på anden måde bliver oplevet negativt af modtageren. Ja, yeah. so for the same reason, you ought to avoid joking with something that can awaken strong feelings, or in another way, be experienced as negative uh, for the receiver. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep it light, keep it light. Uh, Lave en copy line, okay? Make or uh, do a, a copy lie. Den sværeste løgn uh, at opretholde er, min, skøn, min søn skriger, og jeg ikke kan høre det, men um, den sværeste løgn er, ah, jeg kan ikke læse på det i dag, det er så vildt. Den sværeste løgn at opretholde er den direkte løgn. Når du for eksempel siger, nej, jeg har ikke spist det sidste slik, selvom du har gjort det. Og det er en direkte løgn. The most difficult lie to uh, withhold. Uh, is the direct lie. Yeah. 
jeg er ikke god til det. Jeg ved ikke med dig, men uh, jeg er slet ikke god til det. So it's really hard to maintain when you directly lie in front of someone. Uh, so when you, for example, say, I've eaten the last candy last week, even when you, you have, it's an outright, it's an outright lie. Um, med uh, en april snart kan det derfor være nemmere at lave en såkaldt kopiløg. Så so with an april fool, it can therefore maybe be easier to, to do a so-called copyleg. Det betyder, at du kopierer noget fra en film, en gammel oplevelse, et tv-indslag eller lignende, og bruger det i løgnen. Okay, so it means you copy something from a film, an old experience, a tv-indslag, a TV, uh, hmm, hvad hedder indslag? Feature? Yeah, TV feature. Um, or something similar and use it in your life. Okay. Her vil blive det lettere at gengive, fordi du har billeder af din løgnehistorie i hovedet, og så kommer din appeal snart til at virke mere troværdig. Mm. This makes it easier to reproduce, because you have pictures of the lie in your head, and your April Fool's joke will seem more believable. Hmm, interessant. Again, jeg skal skubbe over på mit og klippe lidt rundt. Sådan der. Øv dig på løgnen. Øv dig på løgnen. Practice the lie. Det er vigtigt, at du forbereder dig godt, hvis du vil have nogen til at tro på din aprilsnare. It's important that you prepare well, if you want someone to believe in your April Fool. <laughs> um, jo mere din løgnehistorie sidder på ryggraden, jo mindre presset vil du blive, når du skal fortælle den. Det kan jeg godt lide. It's almost like the more... Uh, have this expression here, sidder på ryggraden, which is like the, your, your spine. And that's when you learn something by heart, almost, when you really have it down. So the more your your story, by his story, um, is sort of become a part of you, uh, the less pressured you'll become when you're telling it, right? Uh, yeah. Makes sense? No, no one blue war sker der ofte det, at de bliver stresset, især hvis de er ved at blive taget i løgnen. When someone lies, what often happens is they get stressed, especially when they're about to be caught, caught out in the lie. Så kommer de til at smile, eller grine, eller bliver dermed afslaget. Ja, det, det er lige mig. Der er completely me. They, they smile, or they laugh, and, uh, and thus are revealed. No, get revealed. Get caught. Grin eller smil er en naturlig stress, uh, stressreaktion, som kommer, fordi man forsøger at nedtrappe en potentielt farlig situation huh. okay yeah laughing or smiling is a natural stress reaction because you're trying to de-escalate a potentially dangerous situation for ikke at blive stresset når du fortæller din april snar bør du derfor træne hvad du vil sige gerne for en andre du kan også bede uh, de andre om at stille skeptiske spørgsmål til din løgn som du skal svare på. Så får du styr på alle detaljerne og gør dit sprog mere flydende. Derved kommer din april snart til at fremstå mere troværdig. Sådan. So to not get stressed when you tell your April Fool, you ought to train. Uh, you ought to train what you're going to say. And you should do it in front of others. You can ask other people to ask you skeptical questions about your lie that you can then answer. And then you sort of get it under control. You get under control all the details and make your language a bit more fluent. Hmm? <laughs> this is a show that men skal forberede sig på den her måde. Så tager man det virkelig seriøst. You're really taking it seriously. This will make your April Fool's joke appear more believable. Aha, så den. Mother, klikker lidt rundt her, fordi det, der sker, når man bruger meat, ja, jeg fortæller jer bare, det er, når man optager skærmen, hvis man ikke går tilbage og siger, ja, jeg er her stadig, 
so be man smart sparkle ud right if you don't go back to me click a bit around it will say hey where are you are you still in the call and it kicks you out and i've had this experience a few times now so to those of you out there if you're using me do this because you you will record your entire thing and then go back and be like what the hell it didn't record i got kicked out halfway through <laughs> anyway so that's not gonna happen today we want to get the rest of this hail in plane hey in plane have a plan Indu du fortæller at prisen er en, skal du lave en plan for, hvordan og hvor hurtigt du har tænkt dig at afsløre den. Before you tell the April Fool joke, you need to plan um, how, uh, hvordan og hvor hurtigt, how and how quickly you've thought about revealing it. Du har selv ansvaret for at stoppe, mens lejen er god. So you have responsibility to stop while the play uh, the joke is still good afslører du ikke din april snart i tid risikerer du at løgnen løber løbsk uh, løber løbsk 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 det er svært ord løber løbsk og gør nogen kede af det sådan so if you don't reveal it at the right time you risk basically that it's it's gonna turn wild and it's gonna just make somebody sad right it's gonna backfire if you like Overvej, hvem du vil nære. Tænk dig om, før du laver en aprilsnare med din chef eller din lærer. Relationen til dem, du laver aprilsnaren med, betyder, noget, betyder nemlig noget. Så overvej, om det på nogen måde kan være skidigt for dig at blive taget i løgnen. Ja, yeah. give it a good think through who you're gonna uh, April Fool, if it's gonna be your boss or your teacher. Uh, your relationship to the, the April Fool, the person. Uh, it means something, right? So consider all of I, uh, it, whether it's something that's going to be damaging if you get caught. Generalt gælder det, at jo mere der er på spil for dig i en given situation eller relation, jo sværere er det for dig at lyve. Yeah. Generally, it's sort of the case that the more there is at, at play, the more there is to lose, if you like, in any given situation, in given situation or relation. Um, the more difficult it is for you to lie. Yeah, take it, I mean, pass new po. Let's look today. Go more to in class to learn. Inden du fortæller den egentlig aprilsnare, kan du gøre more to in bevidsthed class to learn. Du kan for eksempel gøre ved, det kan du for eksempel gøre ved at sende en besked om, at der lige er sket noget vigtigt. Okay, so it's like prepping the person you're going to fool. Uh, make them aware about the lie, you know, send them a message and tell them something's happened. Du skal pire modtagen. Oh, you need to tease the receiver. På den måde bliver det mere naturligt for modtagen at købe den løgn, du fortæller bagefter. Det kan godt lide. In that way, it's more natural for the receiver to buy the lie, buy into the lie, you know, believe it, that you tell them bagefter. Det er en strategi, der også bruges meget i politisk kommunikation, you know? Interessant. It's a strategy, uh, strategy that is often used in political communication. Communication. Perfect. Yeah. You can go read them here, little article. I hope that you also can. Lev april snarin first put day in. Do it at the start of the day. Manga ha parala na arbe put in first april. Især hvis de allerede er blevet konfronteret med de store virksomheders og medienes, uh, medias april snar. Ja, yeah, det uh, giver god mening. Because many have the what do you say the parades, the parades on they, they have their walls up. I think you say in English. Many have their walls up on the first of April, right? They they're aware what's going on, especially if they've already been confronted with April Fools of like big companies and the media. So it's a good idea to fire off your joke early in the day, where there's a greater chance that the the recipient. Uh, would not have discovered that it's the April 1st. Um, they definitely go, they, they can, well, therefore can be there and go with the offer at in a place now, hey, relative to till it put in, what has the chance of for at Mote on Egi ha updale at the year 1st of April. So then, sister deal here, for tell then ansigt to ansigt. Say it face to face. They can be swear of for tell in a place now to in that store lee over for die. Yeah, this is my problem. It's difficult to say to someone who's standing right in front of you. Ikke desto mindre er det meget 
mere overbevisende end at, end at ringe eller sende en besked. Uh, nevertheless, it's much more convincing than calling or sending message. Så har du i snak i maven, uh, så fortæl af prisnagen ansigt til ansigt. Så har du, <laughs> så har du i snak i maven, så fortæl af prisnagen ansigt til ansigt. Det var en lidt weird sense at the end, but so, so if you have enough ice in the stomach, tell your April Fool face to face. Sådan, det kan jeg godt lide. Det har, så nåede vi det. Jeg håber, du er blevet inspireret. I hope you've been inspired for tomorrow. Good luck. Skriv i kommentarfeltet, hvis du har idéer til aprilsnar. Write in the comments if you have ideas for April Fools. Um, jeg har set et par til min søn, for eksempel. Um, at man kommer i en ballon No, it's too little. <laughs> you put a balloon in the toilet, so when they open it, yeah, they get a surprise. Better if it has helium, but I don't have any helium at hand, so I think this would be a, a normal balloon in the mail ballon. Now, skrøy kommentarfeltet, del dine tanker, dine idéer, og gå påske. Gå 1. april, og vi ses. Hej hej.